A firefighter at the center of a White House investigation is telling his side of the story. This investigation initially involved a possible threat against the White House. The I-team's Jay Corp has been digging into this story all evening long. Jay, you spoke with the firefighter. What did he tell you? Well, Leon, this D.C. firefighter in question works out of this fire hall here in southwest Washington. He said that this is all a misunderstanding. Tonight, the Secret Service and his agency are investigating. The firefighter EMT in question is stationed here at Engine 13 in southwest Washington. One of his jobs is waiting in a fire truck like this one near the White House when the president's helicopter, Marine One, lands. This firefighter admitted to me that he made a sarcastic remark Tuesday to a member of the Secret Service about personal threats made toward him and joked, what do I have to do to get people's attention about these threats? A source familiar with this incident says that conversation concerned the Secret Service and got the firefighter pulled off the job. The firefighter, who's a 16-year veteran, claims for the last couple of years he's faced a number of cyber and physical attacks that left him rattled, including threats to his life. Neighbors have told us that for a time he was concerned about his safety, believed that threats were being made against him, so he apparently put more than a dozen booby traps in his backyard. That firefighter told me during a lengthy phone conversation that the Anne Arundel County Police Department botched the investigation into his concerns to the point that he lost his house and split up with his wife. And we should note that Anne Arundel County authorities got back with us today about this. They said they fully investigated the firefighters' claims and found them to be unfounded. The fire department has placed this firefighter on leave. He just told me that he wants someone to take him seriously and listen to his concerns. We should stress he has not been charged with any crime in connection with the call that he made to the White House. Live in the district, Jay Korf, ABC 7 News.